please state your name when I tap you on the shoulder? Gary Martin. Where are you from, Gary? Sacramento. And I don't have to tap you on the shoulder for that, but I guess. <laughs> okay. What do, what do you do for a living, Gary? I teach television and film production. I see. <laughs> what are you doing here? I am enjoying the Craig Ferguson show. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. please, please, don't patronize me. <laughs> You're here with students? Yes. <laughs> Is it because we let you in for free? No. Is it because there is a chance of a free frisbee and you get to stroke a horse that's not really a whore? I think I would consider that uh, for a frisbee, yes. What do you teach your, uh, your uh, students about broadcasting that would have any relevance to this show? What do you teach them about? Do you teach them anything about this show? Like, don't crack it. Do it like that, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I teach them that if you really want to uh, be successful in Hollywood, come make friends with Fred, Craig Ferguson. Craig Ferguson? <laughs> You nervous? Little bit? Little bit. Oh, man. Hey, I've got to, just you stay there. I'll help you out. You want to be all right? Drink deep from the snake cup. Deep. deep. Drink deep. From okay. The, deep. <laughs> deep. Deeper. No, deeper. Deeper. Deeper! Are you done? I think so. All right, then. All right. Uh... So, uh, what, what do you, te you, you teach them? Like, what do they want to be when they leave your... Do you have to go to the bathroom? No. All right. Man, you, you've got a bladder of steel. <clears throat> do your kids say that about you? No, they say I have mashed potatoes in my ears. I can't... You know. Why would they say that? Your ears look perfectly normal. A little, yeah. little, little small. <laughs> yeah, they, they think I don't hear them very well. Oh, maybe, maybe you get small ears. I, mean, I, and... I should wear a microphone. You should. I could teach him how to put it on. He's very good, isn't he? <laughs> You're very good. <laughs> so what, but what do you tell him about this show? Do you say, oh, well, we can go down. We can get into this one for free. Uh, no. <laughs> No, actually, we have friends at CBS, and... Uh, Do you? Can you get me a, a raise or something? <laughs> Apparently not. I teach. No, oh, no, I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, guess what, though? We're going to send you... And how many of your students are here? 27. 27? <laughs> 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 27? Yes. We're going to send you guys home with a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> we were right back, everybody. We were right back. with Greg Ferguson, sponsored by Applebee's. Try the neat jazzed up flavors of Bourbon Street inspired dishes on Applebee's two for 20 menu. See you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. excited because during all the hullabaloo and applause, which died away quite naturally, I yeah, think, don't yeah, you think? Very cool. You know, it didn't sound fake at all when, uh, you know, the warm-up guy went, that's enough, and they all went, like that. 
<laughs> but as I came out, someone up at the back threw me the goat. They were like, ah! Mm. Yeah, like I was Bon Jovi or something. They were like, yeah, and I was like, ooh! Because you know you want a dead or alive. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, yeah. Dead or alive. On a steel horse I ride. Dead or alive. They're on tour. They're on tour right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. man, you got to go and see the Bon Joves, haven't you? The Woo! <laughs> Just talking to a robot, man. Relax. No, no. Get on with the show. Get on with the show. No, no. You know what? I'll get on with the show in my own good time. How about that, yeah, right, man. Jeff? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know, I know what you're thinking at home. Get on with it, get on with it. All right, then. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, you do. <laughs> it is. Not, not a great day for the White House, though. All tours of the White House have been cancelled due to that budget thing that's going on, the sequestration thing. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Don't worry, there's another way to get into the White House if you don't belong there. Fake your birth certificate. It's a joke! <laughs> it's a joke! It's a joke. It's a joke. People were getting ready to tweet. Did you hear that? Oh, man. All over the country, they were like, how dare you? It's a joke. Oh. <laughs> Do you know that a group of rappers? What's the collective noun for rappers? Uh, <clears throat> Of rappers, I guess, isn't it? Rapper, yeah, rappers. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. <clears throat> of rappers. They're asking the government if they can get tax deductions for the money that they spend at strip clubs when they're making it rain. <laughs> Apparently, it's uh, public relations. You know, they're making it rain. They've got to make it rain. And I'm thinking, well, all right, maybe, but how, how are you going to make that work? Like, you throw a wad of cash into the air and go, oh, I'm going to need a receipt for this. <laughs> You, you, I tell you, you'd get away with this if Clinton was still president. He'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I always give to charity. <laughs> That's the name of my favorite stripper. <laughs> That's regular Clinton. You want Italian yeah, Bill Clinton? Italian Bill Clinton. What's the coming to go? <laughs> you want German Bill Clinton? Oh, that's a good one. Octum. <laughs> You got any? Do you, no, do your uh, Welsh Bill Clinton. That's a really good one. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> <That's fantastic. laughs> uh, now, if you're at home and you're watching this show, turn it off right now. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> watching this crap while the wonders of the universe are right outside. Tonight, there is a comet. There is. You got a headline for that? Look, there, a comet making closest approach ever to Earth. A comet. Now, is it really a comet, or is it one of the uh, President Obama's drones? <laughs> yes. You're welcome, Fox News. <laughs> anyway, they say... <laughs> they say that the comet is visible to the naked eye. Like, and I'm like, what, what is that phrase, the naked eye? My eyes are always naked. My eye, I walk around with... Do people wear clothes on their eyes? Like, I can't see a thing. Yay! <laughs> Because you got pants on your eyes, you idiot! <laughs> you... Pants on your eyes, yeah. No, we can't see the comet uh, from here, obviously, because the sky, uh, you know, is kind of smoggy. <laughs> kind of smoggy out the window there. You could probably see it if we'd clean the windows, pal. <laughs> but even worse, you wouldn't be able to see it in L.A. because in L.A., it's raining! <laughs> That's with the noise that goes off in people's head in L.A. when they see rain, they go, ah! <laughs> Do you know that there's a lot of people watching the Comet tonight? I'm surprised that advertisers aren't sponsoring it, you know, on this show. Tonight's Comet is brought to you by Boner Pills. <laughs> when you want to tap that asteroid. <laughs> Man, things went nuts there. Yeah. Uh, bodies applauded. There was that music thing. I like. I I kind of went to the bathroom a little bit there. 
Anyway, people all over the world are very excited about this comedy. Even Canadians are like, this is amazing, eh? <laughs> the only people who are not excited are the Russians. They're kind of over the whole fallen thing. <laughs> Meteor broke vodka bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Warp Factor 2, Captain. <laughs> anyway, apparently we're going to see two comets in 2013. One comet tonight and another comet later in the year. Uh, do we get a picture of these comets? Oh, come on now! <laughs> That's Bill Haley and his comets. And that was tonight's joke for senior citizens. <laughs> do we have a graphic for tonight's joke for senior citizens, do we? <laughs> We should probably go to a commercial break. It's not going to get better than that, really. Uh, you you, you want to get out of here? You should. Yeah, yeah, I think we should go to a commercial break. I mean, I did the joke for the senior citizens. I said, I did the joke for you! <laughs> no, you already had it! Oh, no, no. Yes, we just had it! All right, I, I, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> All right, well, are you going to take us to commercial? Yeah, I'm going to get us. All right, well, I'll come over there and you do the commercial thing. Uh, okay. All right, but well, we'll, we'll wait till I get there. Okay. Right. But, so we're going to need some, let's have the senior citizen music to get me over there. Yeah. Oh. You're watching one of the great wonders of the universe because it's a wonder we're still on the air. where things is going crazy, right, Jeff? They're out of control. We're out of control. It's fake enthusiasm, right, Jeff? Yes, it is. People on TV do it all the time. Well, they've got a new movie coming out this weekend, Jeff. Did you know? I can't wait to see it. Neither can I give a I can have about what's really going on. <laughs> I said too much. No, no, that was, that was good. That was... Ask me why I've got two cups here. Hey, Craig, why do you have two cups there? No, no, there? Ask, ask me in a regular oh, tone. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, 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 man, what's with the two cups? Well, you remember I let the professor drink out of my cup. I made him drink deep of my cup. Oh, yeah. And then I thought, he may have cooties. <laughs> but in all the excitement and all, I can't remember which cup he drank from and which not. <laughs> Smells cleverer than usual. <laughs> no, he drank from this one. I can tell because this is the one I drew the penis on the bottom. <laughs> and this one's a fresh one with no penis on the bottom. <laughs> I await your uh, remorse, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> a fresh one. That's yeah, good. yeah, right, okay, yeah. All right, what time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time brought to you by Retinal Wear. Is that your pupil showing or are you just happy to see me? Cover up with Retinal Wear. <laughs> Yeah, I like when you make these things up. It's cool. Yeah, it's fun. Have a, have a good time. Yeah, retinal wear. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's like, what is it that thing when you take a joke from earlier on, it wasn't that funny, but if you say it again, it gets a little funnier? Uh, uh desperation. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you want to uh, get that if there was, if only there were a course <laughs> that one could take in one of, one of the great American cities, like Sacramento, for example, <laughs> where you could go where you could go and learn this stuff. Like, you know, you, you say a joke, it's not that funny, but if you say it again, it's like you're committed to it and they laugh at your desperation. Well, now there is, Craig. It's Craig Ferguson's one night only crap comedy course next weekend, San Bernardino. No, 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 no. Sacramento. And Sacramento. <laughs> All right, you want to do the tweet and email jingle ourselves? Yeah, we always do so. All right, then. Uh, well, where is my mouth organ? Oh, here it is. All right, I can't see it for all the clock cups. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, you can cut that out. Relax. Uh, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tweets and emails. Tweets and emails. Tweets and emails. Yeah. 
All right, this is uh, from Susanna in Susquehanna in, in Susquehanna? Oh, yeah. Not the Susquehanna Hat Company. Yes, that's the very one. I refuse to answer this email. My brother died on Bagel Street. <laughs> and that's another comedy routine for our senior citizens in the audience. Play the little thing for the senior <laughs> citizens, will you? <laughs> <laughs> we already did it! <laughs> We've done two now! Two! <laughs> uh, Susanna says, uh, Craig, do you get a lot of constructive criticism from CBS about the show? <laughs> 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 yeah! Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, a lot of it, yeah. This is from uh, David in Connorsville in uh, Wisconsin who says, Dear Craig and Jeff, you always tell your studio audience to be quiet, but they clap and laugh anyway. Can't you control them? <laughs> <laughs> Do what you like. <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this is from Constance in New York, New York. You ever been to New York? Beautiful. We went there. We did. We had a lovely time. Where, where was that place we stayed in again? The, uh, what was that? The, uh, the, the hotel. The hotel. The, yeah, they've uh, got a, they've the, got the a hotel. Seasons. The Four Seasons. Well, no, no, I don't think it was. No. <laughs> <laughs> was it? The hell, man. Uh, no, we can't say the name of the actual hotel. All right, right. we stayed at my place. Yeah, all right. <laughs> what do you call your house? It's an uh, alleyway. <laughs> we stayed in an alleyway. <laughs> yeah, remember that? We spent oh, yeah, oh, actually, I do remember that alleyway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Dear Craig and GP, the weatherman on TV uh, called the snow last night. We got a sneaky little storm system. Do you have any idea of what that means? Um, no, I don't speak weatherman. <laughs> That's a very... I mean, you have to go to Sacramento to study that stuff because... <laughs> They have to be able to talk and pretend there's weather there. And then the other thing they like to do is that the anchors like to pretend that the weatherman, you know, makes the weather. And the weatherman does, the weatherman's not God, he's a uh -oh. weatherman. <laughs> hey, you gave us snow last night. No, you didn't. You reported the snow. You're not responsible for the snow. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> right, Jeff? This weekend, Sacramento, Craig Ferguson's crash course in meteorology and crap comedy. <laughs> This is from Roger in Ithaca, New York. Uh, Dear Mr. Ferguson, I have it in good authority that you are owed $1.7 million from a Namibian prince. Will you call me to discuss this? Why, I certainly will. <laughs> what could go wrong there? <laughs> this is from Adam in the Villages in Florida who says, Dear Craig, the Villages? The Villages? What the hell is that? <laughs> it's like a little place where they all gather together with their pitchforks. Yeah. We're waiting, we're waiting in our little villages. <laughs> Looks like there's a sneaky little storm system coming in. <laughs> uh, dear Craig and Jeff, how come Jeff is a uh, last name but Secretariat doesn't? That's where you're wrong. Secretariat Jones, take a bow. <laughs> yeah, man, here goes another monster created in the heat of the moment. Oh, boy. I gave the horse a last name. There'll oh, be trouble great. now. There'll be, there'll be faux Twitter accounts. Yeah, of... all over the place, man. I'm the real, I'm the back end of Secretary Ed Jones. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is from Manny in Little Rock, Arkansas. Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, my daughter got engaged over the weekend. She told me she wants a big, perfect white wedding. Any advice on quick profit investment schemes? <laughs> yeah, there's a Namibian prince down there somewhere. <laughs> Uh, and finally, finally, this is from Michael in Loganville in Georgia. You ever been there? Beautiful. Ah, uh, what a place. What's your favorite part of Loganville? The uh, southeastern portion. Southeastern portion, oh. yeah. <laughs> Dear Craig, uh, can you define the phrase, what's a common ago? Uh, yeah, it's an Italian phrase. What's a common ago? It means, uh, what's a coming and a going, right, Jeff? That's correct, Craig. <laughs> you can learn all about it at my course on crap comedy and weather manning. <laughs> In Sacramento, the, this fall. <laughs> we'll be right back. Uh, 
and Jeff, ask me who my first new friend is tonight. Who's your first new friend? I'll tell you, Jeff. <laughs> my first new friend is a very talented actor. His latest film, Oz the Great and Powerful, opens Friday. Take a look at this. <laughs> Zach Brown! <laughs> Welcome, Zach Braff. I'm so glad to finally be here. I am so glad you're here. I haven't seen you for... 25 years. 25 years. That's... They think we're kidding. Yeah, I know they do, but they're high. <laughs> I guess I got here late. No, no. 25 years ago, Zach and I, look at this, made a pilot for NB... For CBS. CBS. CBS, yeah. And look, there, look, look that's me there. Yeah? <laughs> No. But look, wait, it gets better. Look at the gorgeous woman next to him. Why, it's Gwyneth Paltrow. At 17 years old. Yeah. And look at this guy. Look, the cool guy. Oh, face. yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. That's nice, right. And, and this is the young, this is the sister from Vacation? Yeah, that's the girl that was in the national level. Dana. Dana. Uh, Dana. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You'll, uh, add your, you'll, you'll, you'll add her name later. Yeah, and uh, that's Bentley Mitchum there. Uh, and that's oh, everybody I remember. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I'm amazed I remember that much. I mean, that, cause that's four years before I went to rehab, man. I, I see. I, I mean, was, there, there's I crap was... in those pants. <laughs> <laughs> I was far too young to know that you were Tootsie Fruitsie. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I, I got you something because uh, the last time I met you, you really liked us. I got you some candy. Oh, you? thank uh, you. <laughs> I remember you always said, come to my trailer, little boy. I'll give you some candy. Oh, man. Oh, wow. And I. Uh, <laughs> you know, we got a clip of it. We have a clip where yeah. you and I do stuff together. Yeah, I swear to God, a, yeah, we have it. I remember we had all a right. big scene. Right. I don't remember it at all. I so do. I, I, I seen thought it. we could recreate it. Uh, oh, okay, well, let's see the clip first, okay, then we'll, we'll try it again. We'll see if we're right, better no. actors now. Maybe teachers should be allowed to keep what they confiscate. Declan? I don't know about you, Mr. Dexter, but growing up in Scotland, if you had a yo-yo, you were the Prince of Wales. <laughs> That's it. Game Boy. You know how to use this gadget? Sure. Show me. You're pretty good. I'm the best. Oh, wow! Yeah. No. Wow! The thing I remember... Wow! I remember thinking, it was my first gig. It was my first gig, and far be it for me to give any directing notes. Sure. But I remember, I just turned it on, and you were like, you're pretty good. And I'm like, well... how the hell does he know I'm good? <laughs> I was, I didn't want to say anything, but I was like, I just put the power on. Well... It was kind of spectacular because I'm looking at that and going, that fat guy looks like me. Ah! <laughs> My God, weren't you scared? Uh, a fat was... guy smelling of beer, being that close well, to Well, I you? had been in your trailer with candy, so... Oh, yeah. no, no. <laughs> You had made me very comfortable. Wow, that's... No, I was terrified. I look at that and I see, like, a nervous, nervous actor. It was my first gig. It was the first thing I ever got. And I didn't know that pilots didn't get picked up. Neither did so I. So I... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, like, 14 and, like, you know, throwing money at the club, like you yeah, said. Like, getting, yeah. making it rain. Do you know, I think about four... four whatever we shot that scene, and I... Don't really remember it to be honest, but <laughs> about four days later, I love later, that you really don't genuinely, I genuinely don't, recall. don't remember. Wow, it's and probably good you went to rehab then. Yeah, <laughs> I do remember about four days later, I, a friend of mine that I knew from Glasgow found me asleep in a shop doorway in London, like about three o'clock in the morning, and he said, Man, what the hell are you okay? I went, Yeah, I've just been shooting a pilot in America. <laughs> Here's a Game Boy. <laughs> Whoa, you're good. You're good. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you've done okay. It worked out. Yeah, you got things. tall and handsome oh, and a career. You. And... Oh, you're couple... great. Thank you. <laughs> but then you, too. You have a weird horse. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, look, we there's took another this... tie-in, yeah, by the way. Yeah, th that's true. Th this is uh, still from the pilot as well. And there's a weird horse. And uh... Do you know this weird horse? Is that, was that you before you went to rehab? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the plot line of this? 
Yeah, it was something about uh, the, the, I was the uh, teacher from another country and you were kids. No, no, That's the plot line of this horse is so really bizarre. This wouldn't get on the air now. They tried to get it on the air. <laughs> get on the air then. But to tell him, <laughs> yeah, to tell it very quickly, the 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 the, the, um, the, the quarterback had um, uh, they had done his circumcision wrong and so they had redone it and he couldn't get an erection or because it would tear his stitches that had just been done, but they wanted him to go in the donkey costume with the hot sexy cheerleader played by Gwyneth Paltrow. I remember. And then yeah. he sees her beautiful bottom and he freaks out because he can't tear his stitches by getting an erection. That's for CBS Television. Wow. I, wow. I, <laughs> I can't believe it didn't get picked up. Yeah, you know, I, God. <laughs> it's really freaky, though. That's really freaky for me to see. That it must be weird for you. You're a tiny little It's kid. bizarre. Yeah, it's my first thing, and, uh, you know, I, 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 23 years ago. It's insane. And then you went on to Scrubs, like, the next year. No, no. <laughs> About 11 years that later. That show lasted a long time, man. You must well, have been 14 lasts... when you started. Well, I, I, oh, no, I, the Scrubs was about 11 years later, and, wow. um, and it lasted nine years, yeah. Oh, uh, oh uh, the, the movie you're in, the, the Oz movie. Oz movie. That looks good. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, we... Is that, we're out of time already? Yeah, yeah, we gotta we got take a break. I have so much more to say. Oh, I want to talk right. to the gay robot. I have... <laughs> relax, relax, man. You, we, we'll take a break and then come back okay. and you get more of it. Unless we get canceled in between, because you're my jinx. Why? Oh. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm not tight, I'm not Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Zach Braff. We don't know each other. Are we really back from commercial? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, really I, back, I was yeah. so lost talking to you in the in between segment that I didn't know we were back on. Yeah, the air. yeah. No, that's the way. It oh, goes. hello. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's pretending to like you again. Weird that, isn't it? <laughs> How are you doing otherwise? You all right? Did school go okay? I was worried about you when we were shooting this. Um, you took care of me just fine. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to run with this molestation. Yeah, no, joke. don't sorry, do it, sorry, man. Sorry, you'll, you'll cut all this do you out. Know, no, we won't. We don't cut it out. Oh, okay. I say it when I yeah. <laughs> But you know what? what? See this guy here, Bentley Mitchum? Yeah. He, uh, I remember, he was a little older than you guys. I remember he carried me from the hotel bar and dropped me into my room one night. Really? Yeah, he's, he's a strong kid. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> you see how fat I was there. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of jealous that I was too young to be you know, enjoying the festivities with yeah, you guys. Yeah, you were a little too young. Yeah, yeah, little, yeah just yeah. like a year or two. Yeah, a couple of years older, you'd have got to carry the fat drunk to bed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It would have been a great, it would have been a great, you know, first gig experience. Like, how'd it go? I was carrying my cast member from the bar. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's bad. How about that Gwyneth Paltrow where things worked out for her? Did it? Yeah. Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> she's doing all right. She's all right. She'll she's doing all right. She'll be fine. Yeah. She'll be fine. She'll be just fine. You like Coldplay? I love Coldplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty yeah. good. And he's a yeah. great guy, too, her husband. Oh, are you still friendly with him? I know him uh, um, as acquaintances. You guys kept in touch and no one called me? <laughs> Um, I knew Chris um, when, right before he broke, I met him, and he was, you know, we first came to L.A. Actually, it's a funny story. He, he came to L.A., and we had a mutual friend right before Coldplay's big album, and he was, I was out at a bar with him, and he, he, he had never really seen stars before, celebrities before, and he said, is that, is that the bad guy from Karate Kid? <laughs> and, I, and I looked over, and I was like, holy Bo that is the bad guy from Karate Kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... Sweep the leg. Remember that guy? Yeah, yeah. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Yeah. Right? And, um... I, did, I gotta go to this bar where all right. these celebrities hang right. out. Yeah. And, um, and, 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 he, and he was like, do you think I could meet him? <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm like, sure. I'm sure that he'd be fine to meet you. <laughs> and brought him over, and they talked. And, and, but it was just so cool knowing that Chris Martin became this ginormous sure, star. And I think though. I may have introduced him to his first star, the, the bad guy from Karate Kid. <laughs> That's the best Hollywood story I have ever heard. <laughs> Dude, we're out of time. We really are. This, uh, this do you is wanna, too short to Do you want to reenact the Game Boy scene? Yes, can All right, then, yeah. Uh, all right. Just this, hand me something. This... How about I'll play you. Just hand me something. No, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, you don't play me. Okay, okay, okay. You don't play okay, me. Because okay. then you'll do that. All right, all right do the, do hand me. All right, no, I... hand me, no, no. Hand me the Game Boy. All right, and this then is the Game Boy. Remember to say how quickly. All how right, quickly yeah, I'll do this. Ready? Okay, you ready? Whoa, you're good.
here's a weird story. <laughs> my next guest was going to be my guest at some other point, but is now here now because the person that was going to be my guest is sick. I know! <laughs> All will become clear, <laughs> said the fat drunk guy. It's like, I, it, the, the glamour of active alcoholism went away a little bit there, didn't it? <laughs> anyway, uh, my first guest is an actress on Community, which is Thursday nights on NBC. Take a look at this. <laughs> the lovely Gillian Jacobs, everyone! Gillian Jacobs! so much for being here because Alison Brie, your castmate, was going to be on the show and she called today and said that she was sick. Yeah, how do you think she got sick? <laughs> Drink your juice, Alison. <laughs> which, uh, which, uh, well, I mean, I'm prepared for Alison to be here, so what can you tell me about her? Um, well, she's a lovely woman. She's from Pasadena, California, very mm. nearby. Has she ever been to Sacramento to study uh, television? <laughs> I'm sure, haven't we all? Yeah, it's the only way to get on in show business. <laughs> did you study? I did. I went to the Juilliard School. Whoa! Yeah. S the Juilliard? That's like where that's that's almost as good as Sacramento. <laughs> Sacramento was my first choice. Of course, second it's, choice yeah, yeah. Juilliard. Juilliard's really posh. Did you study acting at Juilliard? I did. I only studied acting. Well, at you didn't Juilliard. do the tr trombone or anything? They won't let you cross streams. Is that a phrase? We have no such rules here. <laughs> uh, never mind. It's I'll, a I'll give it a go. Wait, you want to try it? Have you ever yeah, tried it? No, never. Oh, well, give it a shot. All right. All right. I don't even know. What is this? Uh, just blow it and All see right. what happens. Oh, that's yeah. never happened before. No, no, you go like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Faster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, come on. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> You're beginning to see the method which Juilliard employs is rather sensible, really. <laughs> That, that's in New York then, right? It is, yeah. Oh, so you studied there? I did. Did you walk around wearing black and playing the bongos for a long time? I uh, wore a lot of black. Uh, you know, they would only let us wear sweatpants, actually, for four years. Really? Yeah. That they... seems absurd. I know. And then you graduate from Juilliard, and you have no idea how to dress, so we all went into auditions just looking like homeless people, so... <laughs> Well, that's what actors dress like in L.A. now anyway. Every, I, I, they dress down, don't they? I mean, the whole thing about, I say, I'm an actor, I'm really successful, I can't afford pants. Yeah. Boys can get away with that more than girls. Yeah, that's true. There's a tough town on girls. Oh. I would not like to be a girl in this town. I've tried, but I would not. <laughs> I would not. I mean, it's really tough when the girls here are, like, super thin, got to think, you've got to be, like, 20 years old, you're 23, you're done. It's yeah. like, oh, that's crazy. Same with talk shows. <laughs> No, you can be a clapped-out old douche and be on TV till you die in this game. I think you look great. Are you acting? No. Wow, they teach you guys real good at that Juilliard, don't you? How are things going on, community? Everything all right? You know, we've had our ups and downs. I don't yeah. know if you've heard. We're on the schedule, off the schedule. Yeah, the show is great. Yeah. Though. The show is a fantastic show. And then there's Joel with the... Oh, whoa. yeah. Yeah, whoa. Oh, Makes yeah. Makes Charlie Sheen look like a Mormon. <laughs> we hired two guys to, like, prop him up. He's, yeah, he yeah. can't stand on two feet but anymore. that show, The Soup, the only way to get him is they just kind of, like, green screen him on. He's actually lying down. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they film him from above, and he's like, yeah, I'm talking. But he's... Secret's out now. Yeah, I know, I know. So you're back on the schedule, though. Oh, we're back oh, on Oh, great. Now. That's fine. We're on. We're on Thursday nights. We did 13 episodes. There's always a possibility that we'll come back. I, I think mean... so. And I think a movie as well. Oh, yeah. I think a community movie where, you know, people went nuts. Would you like to be in it? Yes. Okay, excellent. Great. What would you like to play? I'd like to play trombone. <laughs> I could teach you. Yeah. No, you couldn't. No, you couldn't. <laughs> you, I mean, seriously, you went like this. Do, 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 do. You didn't even try, Gillian. I, I, I felt 
felt like I tried. Yeah, a little bit. I tried a little bit. <laughs> All right, so you did. Uh, you went to Juilliard, and then what? You got a, you went straight into community because you. Oh no, thank you. You're very kind, but I had a couple years of extreme poverty and not really working very much. And oh, no. yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. That tempers you in your craft. It builds character, yeah. they say, or yeah. something like that. Yeah, no, it's awful. I've been. Hey, you didn't ever do a pilot for CBS that I was in by any chance, did you? <laughs> I think I did do a pilot for CBS, but I was not an extra oh, in that's, that one. That's weird. Have you ever had a horrible drinking problem? You know what? I've never had a drink in my entire life. Really good for you. Yeah. What, what is there any reason for that? Were you raised by alcoholics? Uh, or... sure. I was alcoholics adjacent. Right. You yeah. Say? I yeah. think everyone is. Yeah. Everyone right. is. I mean, everybody knows a drunk. If you have enough family members, right? You're and, you know, alcoholics adjacent. Which means, you know, if you're Scottish, you're Irish. Or... Yeah. I... Uh. Both. Really? My middle name's McLaren, so... Oh, good Lord, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever been to the Old Sod then, have you? I've never been. Oh, you should. I would love to. Yeah, that'd be nice. Do you play golf? Uh, yeah, sh uh... <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to be so good. <laughs> no, that's all right. You should try. I just started recently. Really? Yeah, yeah, trying to play golf. It's really interesting. Is it difficult? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's too hard to do, to be good at it. But okay. you, as long as you don't mind sucking at things, and clearly I don't, then it's fine. I think, as you can see with the trombone, nor do I. Well, there you are then. I think, do you play any sports at all? Um, uh, I used to actually hide the sign-up sheets for sports so my mom couldn't enroll me in anything. So I'll, oh. yeah. Oh, so you've never played a sport and never had a drink? Yes, I know. I'm are you an American at all? <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I'm, not, I'm kind of an American ish. Yeah, no, you Canadian are. mainly. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you can take joking too far. You know. <laughs> uh, well, listen, thank you so much for being here oh, and, my uh, and telling us about the wonderful show Community, which is so abused by NBC, but then again, they're. Ooh la la! Idiots. <laughs> uh, the, uh, now, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, that was me that said that, and not anyone else who's here. <laughs> Actually, Alison Bree called me and said, would I please say that? <laughs> um, so, um, we're out of time. You want to throw frisbees at the horse, play the mouth organ, the trombone, I think we'll let that go. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I would love to throw frisbees, yeah. Okay, then fine. Okay, great. All right, then, uh, throwing frisbees at the horse. Kelly Jacobs, everybody, wherever I am. Jeffrey? Yes, Greg? There's something you don't know about me. No? What is that? Jeffrey, I'm something of a cowboy. <laughs> do you ride upon a steel horse? I do. <laughs> Ask me why I ride upon said steel horsey. Why, dare say, do you ride upon a steel horsey? For I am wanted, Jeffrey. <laughs> Are you wanted dead or alive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>